the fact that I feel like I have to make this video is ridiculous. Power World Pokemon, right? Here's the thing, right? Who cares, bro? Just play what you want, dog. It's <laughs> not even that serious, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a game. Yeah. Do I think that Pokemon has been failing as a company for a while when it comes to uh, the, the, the gamers wants and needs? Absolutely. freaking lootly Absolutely. freaking lootly But does that mean that we have to sit there and disrespect the crap out of it because we feel the way we feel? No. Death threats? No. Come on now. And Power World, Power World is here to stay. You know what I mean? So what, what's the point of complaining about it? There's no reason to actually be upset, bro. Like, so many people are upset about this game, bro. And it, it's literally the most ridiculous thing ever, bro. It's literally the most ridiculous thing ever. And it's kind of sad and sickening. See how many people get so defensive about Pal World. So defensive about Pokemon. So offended by the fact that our Pal World exists. So freaking offended that people are finding similarities in these Pals. That are in Pokemon. And yeah, so what? Who cares? There's similarities. There's no reason to get upset, bro. There really isn't. The only thing I would be be honestly sitting there and be like, yeah, it's a little bit sketch. It's kind of, let's be real, is that it's, it's, it's this thing. It's this thing. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> you know why? Because if Nintendo wanted to do something about it, or could do something about it, they would have already done it. Like before before the game even launched, right? After the first official trailer, they've been GG's, bro. Pocket Pair been finding a new game to make. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the situation. People are so scared that Power War is gonna be taken down, and people are so scared that Pokemon's gonna get replaced. And it's like, why are y'all scared of these little trivial things? Just enjoy the game. You don't like the game, that's fine. That is fine. You don't have to like the game. You really don't. It's not it's not even important if you like the game or not. It really isn't because everything is all based off of what we as people want to do. We want to play Power World, we can play Power World. You want to play Pokemon, you can play Pokemon. You want to play both? Shit, go for it. Play both. Who cares, bro? Have your freaking switch up shiny hunting eggs while you're freaking building a freaking fortress on Power World. Who cares? And then people are complaining about the similarities, bro. There's more copycat things about Power World than the freaking creatures. Let's be freaking real real quick. Right? Let's be real. One, the game plays almost damn near identically to Ark and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Honestly, probably the latter. Let's be real. Let's be real. The dodge mechanics, that's almost freaking Breath of the Wild-esque Legends Arceus type of thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Arceus, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. It's not, it's not that important. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's You want to complain about something? Complain about that. Personally, I'll say just let it go, to be real, because at the end of the damn day, it, it doesn't matter. The problem here is, everybody is out here attacking everybody for how they feel about something. Or if, they just, or if they're just implementing what they think in a, in a heartful way. And then other people get so heated because of that. And they're like, oh my god, how dare you sit there and say, oh, don't get me started on that. The word inspire. inspire. Oh my god, hold on. People see the word inspired, immediately they think, oh, it's copying something. Right here, right? Right here is a definition. I'm going to give you all a second to read it. Cool. Y'all read it. So the problem is, right, with that description, inspired and copying are two freaking different words, bro. If someone says, oh, this is inspired by... Stop thinking, oh, they copied. No. Copying is taking a Cinderace and slapping it into Pal World, which essentially they kind of sort of did, but they still reskinned it, right? It's still grass, green, has leafy on ears, so it's kind of like a Pokemon fusion of some kind, you know what I mean? So, in theory, it's inspired. It is 100% not Cinderace, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use, what's a good, what's a good Pal? What's a good Pal? We're going to use this one right here, right? You know who this is? This is Depresso, right? A cute little thing. Cute little thing. Some people argue that it kind of has similarities to Esper or Meowstic. The more edgier, gothic, moody, whatever synonym they want to use for it being depressed. Could it be inspired? Yeah, probably. Why? Because that's what the fucking word inspired means. <laughs> inspired does not mean it. they copied it. They took a concept 
and then tweaked it until it was their own original model. So it was its own entity. That's what inspired means. And I know uh, me saying all this is not going to really matter because people are going to be in there throwing a hissy fit because they don't really want to believe that the description of what inspired versus copied even means. And you know what? And that's fine. I don't care. And thanks for the support, bro. But that's besides the point. The fact that I feel like I have to be up here. I have to make a video like this because the amount of toxicity that's coming out of this whole BS drama that shouldn't even be a thing, mind you. It's ridiculous. You should make Pokemon content about Pokemon versus what is it? Freaking Dragon Quest next. No. <laughs> no. Are you arguing about the first Gen 1 games being copies of Dragon Quest monsters way back in late 90s? Over 20 years ago? Let it go. You didn't see Dragon Quest devs going out the way to be like, yo, we're going to cancel these jokers because they, they took our Geodude. They took our Zubat. They took our Caterpie looking thing. No, you know why? Because it was inspired, hence it not being a copy. So my take on this whole thing is just play a game you want to just freaking play. It's not even that freaking serious, bro. <laughs> it really, y'all make things so much harder than it actually needs to be. Like, it would just, I sit here and I make videos for a freaking living, right? I'm almost trapped inside of this freaking house. Like, that's what it feels like, right? Recording the video, quote unquote, editing the thing. Scripting the thing, thumbnailing the thing, titling the thing, reading the comments. With all that, my time, my day, outside of my daily actual livelihood, which is all also at home stuff, you know what I'm saying? I sit there and I get stir crazy doing what I do. And you know what? I enjoy it. So it's not even that big of a deal. But you don't see me go out my way to attack people. Bro, go outside. Go do something. You don't like Power World? That's fine. You don't have to like it, bro. You really don't. Go back to playing Scarlet and Violet, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. There really isn't anything wrong with that. You're upset with Game Freak and there's the Power World people who are Pokemon players that moved over to Power World because Pocket Pair knows what Pokemon gamers freaking like or whatever. That's fine. You you full dive into Power World all you want. You really do, but you got to take in consideration. Sitting there, don't a hissy fit about... Game Freak didn't do this. Game Freak doesn't do that. Nintendo doesn't do this. Nintendo doesn't do that. Whether they look see this as a learning experience to try to actually please us, the consumers, our wishes, we can't control that. We can just do whatever we can do for our daily day-to-day, -day, daily life, for us living. You know what I'm saying? They're a corporation. They want bank. That's all they care about. You want to affect them, make them think twice? Stop purchasing their games, bro. The one thing a company will always listen to is their wallet. They don't care if we're throwing, following like Karen complaints back to back to back, left and right. They don't care, bro. As long as there's nothing that can get them in legal trouble, they don't give a crap. But the moment those dollar signs are declining more and more per releases, that's probably going to bug them, honestly. But you know what? I'm not going to sit here and tell you to do that. That's just the only they, way they will listen. But we're not going to do that. You know why? Because we play Pokemon. We see a Pokemon game dropping, we'll sit there and say it's going to suck all the way to the cows come home. But when that release date comes for that new game, what are we going to do? Take our money, please. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> come on now. Come on now. Stop. Just stop. Like all this, all this drama is literally just drama for no reason. And two, it gets to the point where doing like simple little things for content is ridiculous. Everybody wants to know where someone stands when it comes to Power versus Pokemon. The content I make, Power versus Pokemon shorts, they sound very drama filled or whatever. But no, no. I just came up with that because I needed something to put in the first three seconds of my video, bro. It was the quickest thing that popped in my dome and it rolled off the tongue very smoothly. You watch the actual full video and you listen to it, I'm not disrespecting Power World at all. And I know there's plenty of PokeTubers that are out there. Plenty of content creators as a whole out there that are doing little silly things just, just for comedy reasons. And they probably get the worst end of the stick because they're actually making fun of stuff. My heart goes out to them. I'm not going to single nobody out, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But my heart goes out to them because that is ridiculous. It's okay to have differences in opinions. It's okay to like something and have a friend that doesn't like something. But you know what does break moral code? You attacking people just because. Oh, my day is bad and they're talking all that hot shit about Power World. 
good or bad, doesn't matter. You can pff, situations there. Oh, look at that. This person is sitting there talking about how this Pokemon looks like Gengar and it looks nothing like Gengar, except for the little blah 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 blah. How dare they compare this to a Pokemon? Make a video about Pokemon versus Dragon Quest. Enter. Come on now. Come on. It's not even that serious, G. It really isn't. But you know what? I've talked my head off about this long enough, so I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. And go touch grass or do something that you actually enjoy doing. But that's all us content creators actually care about is that you guys are doing good and we are making sure we're distracting you. That's about it. That's our job. Love you. Catch you in the flip flop. Be the best you can possibly be. No matter what life throws your way. Every day stay safe. Watch the next video or not. I don't care.